show you the differences between an overhead steerer and a homogenizer. Hello everybody, I am Elan from Skin Chakra, a place where you can purchase excellent quality cosmetic raw material and where you can learn how to formulate like a cosmetic chemist. You often send us inquiries, ask for recommendations for nappy streaming. One of the most confusing topics for you is the differences between an overhead steerer and a homogenizer and which one you really need. This guy here is an overhead steerer. Depending on your needs and requirements, you can change the steering blade for low viscosity, high viscosity, more agitation, introducing uh, air into the product, you can change the this one is a homogenizer. Let me show you how, how they work. The overhead steerer is comparable to your kitchen mixer, Vitamix or somehow the, the stick blender that you use. It has a radial motion. If I can manage to turn it on. It has a radial movement. You see that it's turning like this. A homogenizer has a rotor stator mechanism and it has an axial motion. It becomes loud. The motion is like this. It's not the rot rotation like the overhead steel. What does it mean for you as a cosmetic formulator? This guy you know, use basically when you are making emulsions. It breaks the particles, the oil in water to smaller particles or vice versa, water in oil to water part, particles into smaller particles and so you will have a steady uniform emulsion. With an overhead steerer, you can almost do everything in your cosmetic lab, from gum dispersion, from making a shower gel, a shampoo, and even making an emulsion. The main difference is that it doesn't break the particle to very small size. It's slightly a bigger particle than compared with a homogenizer. You can turn this guy on and it can go on for hours and hours and it works continuously. The homogenizer is used only for a few minutes per batch. You practically turn it on for two, three minutes per batch and then turn it on and then move to the steel. Let me, let me demonstrate you how they work. I am putting some calendula petals in both beakers and turn the instruments on. Sorry if it gets too loud. Meanwhile, as I'm demonstrating, you can go ahead and put into comments which instruments you're using and which instruments is on your wish list for this Christmas. I would like to hear from you. water and they can it can go on for hours and they, they doesn't they don't really break or dissociate in this beaker with a homogenizer you see that the petals really break and, and get apart and this is how uh, the homogenizer reduces the particle size and, and this is exactly how they work when you are blending oil and water in an emulsion for you as a cosmetic chemist, it means that you need this guy only for a short time for emulsions. But this guy is a kind of handy dandy for every purpose. At the beginning, probably you cannot afford 
both instruments in your lab. So my recommendation is go ahead with an overhead steerer. You can even prepare stable emulsions in small quantities and in small batches and leave the homogenizer for later when you can afford it and when you decide to produce batch after batch of emulsions. For further questions, don't hesitate to write in the comments. Hope to see you soon. Thank you for being here. Bye.